Hey, it's Mark Letiri. I'm up here at PRS HQ. We're talking about trem tricks, vibrato varieties, tremular tremulations. Point being, we're gonna talk about uh, stuff you can do with your trem bar here. The jury's out on what you're gonna call these things. Leave a note in the comments. <laughs> First one I'm going to start with uh, is what I call the chord bridge. And I actually got this from a guitar player named Phil Kege. You're going to go between two chords and you're going to use the whammy bar. Here's one example. So all I did was kind of play this B minor chord or it could be an E minor chord depending on where you put the bass. And then what you're going to do is just move your first finger up a fret while you push the bar down. So. Go to that nice C major sound. And the trick is to find two chords that share fingerings. So another shape you can do, this is a good shape, these like sort of suspended ninth chord shapes. You drop your first finger down. You can play it in time, so say I'll do this. I'm gonna actually change uh, positions, but I'm gonna keep the chord shape the same. I'm gonna go from a B minor seven chord. E minor seven chord, but I'll we'll play it like this. So it almost kind of gives it that effect of like a tape machine sort of slowing down and speeding up or something. It's a really cool effect. So thanks Phil Kiki for doing that. This is a fun one, we'll turn off the, the delay sauce here, but uh, I like to use the bar as like almost like a rhythmic figure for accents in grooves, uh, almost like the way a keyboard player would hit the pitch wheel on a keyboard. You can do that with a whammy bar. I like to do it in funk grooves and just pick like a rhythm, so. So it's, it's kind of a silly sound, but I <laughs> Kind of really dig it. Uh, so you can do a couple, whatever rhythms you want, you just kind of hit the bar in time like you're hitting a pitch wheel on a keyboard or playing a percussion or something. Whatever you do, just make sure it's in time and you've got a consistent rhythm. So I'll do that a little slower for you. So our rhythm is sha da 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 da, right? One last trick, it's it's like you make your guitar sound like a farm animal. <laughs> I think I probably got this maybe from Jeff Beck or something, but I'll put on a little bit of gain here uh, and some delay. I'll go to the bridge pickup. And the key is, it's kind of as before you're tapping the bar, except instead of like slapping it with one hand, you're gonna take these two fingers and just do this, like a little trill. And so you can play lines. So you hear this sort of like bleeding goat <laughs> sound, but uh... It's a fun trick. It helps uh, having this sort of metal end here because it gives the bar a little bit more weight. Keeps it nice and springy. I use three springs in the back and, uh, and my trim is set up so I can just fit a guitar pick underneath it. And uh, those are some trim tricks that you too can do at home under adult supervision.